Hi guys, Squirrel here. Welcome back to some Mud Runner. This is the new DLC. It's called American Wilds, and it contains two new challenge maps called Crane Operator 2 and Freight X. And it contains two single player maps or multiplayer maps. You can play them on multiplayer, which I'll show you now. One's called Grizzly Creek, which we're going to play today. And the other one is called Mount Logmore, which is this one here. So this is the one we're going to play, Grizzly Creek. As well as that, uh, four maps in effect. You've also got nine new trucks, nine new vehicles, all styled in the kind of typical American way. The whole thing is set in kind of Montana, North Dakota, that kind of thing. That's the inspiration for it. So the vehicles are very American. You've got uh, the Chevy Blazer, which is this pickup truck here. You've got the Ford F-150, and you've got the Hummer H-1. So each of these are worth one balance point and should be pretty decent at scouting. I think we'll go with the Chevy Blazer, so we'll take that one. Now, in terms of the other vehicles that we could take, we've got the Ford LTL 9000, which is not suitable for off-roading. In other words, it's probably... It's probably six by four and you can't lock the all the wheels. You can't all wheel drive it or something like that, which is what's essentially stopping it from being an off-road vehicle. Same thing with the Freightliner FLD 120 and the Chevy Bison. Uh, each of these are worth two points. Then there's this one, which kind of sits in between the fours and the fives, which is a three-star Western Star 6900 XD. So this is going to be, this hasn't got the warning. So this one's going to be essentially you can put it into manual and do the all-wheel drive and, and diff lock, that kind of thing. And then you've got the skidder, which is obviously essentially suitable. It's a definitely an all-terrain vehicle, but it's obviously suitable for uh, picking up logs and that kind of thing. And then the K9000 forwarder, which looks a little bit like uh, on farm sim where you've got the scorpion and you've got the log carrier. It looks a little bit like the log carrier. So I think what we'll do is we'll go with the Western Star uh as our three star it still brings us well underneath the five star limit and should we go for the ford f-150 or the chevy let's go for the chevy so that gives us a four star balance and we're going to start it on hardcore that was just where i was testing the map so we'll start it on hardcore and see how we get on there we go oh yeah so look at this first thing you can see is the general kind of theme Look at this gas oil diesel. It's like a 50s, 60s kind of American setting. All the feels looks really good. And then we've got this wonderful uh, Chevy here, which we can have some attachments to while we're in the garage. Let's have a look at the map in a minute. But first, let's play with the toys. <laughs> right, bumper. I uh, definitely want to put a bumper on there in case we hit something. Uh, a light bar. Yeah, that sounds cool. Let's put a light bar on there. Repair supplies. Let's see, where does that go? Okay, that goes inside the back there. That gives us, what was it, 20 litres and 150 repair points. That's not bad, actually. We can go for a roof trunk, which gives us 80 litres of fuel, but makes it slightly top-heavy. And then a spare wheel, which is 60 points on the back. So, I wonder if we can install, maybe, repair supplies and a spare wheel. So, that's going to give us, like, 210 repair points and a little bit of extra fuel which we could use on ourselves the truck seems to start with a full complement of fuel and no damage that's good uh, so let's go for that and then we'll go up to advanced and change truck and we'll click on oh see so they've not sorted the stupid camera out dear me okay one second there we go oh, God, why do I have to make it so hard Actually, let's bring up the uh, the map and have a look at the map while we're trying to work that out. Right, so we start in the top right-hand corner. Uh, let's see what we've got. Where's the delivery? Lumber mill. Here we go. So we've got two lumber mills, each requiring eight points, and next to it is the Western Star, which is the, um, the big beastie carrier that we saw, the log carrier. So if you want to bring logs here, we're going to have to go and get that log carrier first, and it's locked, which means we need to go down there to unlock it. Uh, just on the right here, we've got the Chevy Blazer. K5 Blazer. Hmm, I'm not sure what use of that's going to be. But anyway, you have to go to the fuel station anyway, no doubt. We've got a block post here. So that's going to stop us from taking logs down that road. Uh, we've got the Skidder, which is the log picker. It should be a log picker anyway. 
And then we've got some scavenge here. There's nothing there. There's three medium logs. Nothing in that one. Unexplored, unexplored, explored. There's a waypoint, a watch point here. Why do they call it a watch point? Anyway, it looks like we need to go and unlock that, and then we can have a look at these logs and see what's going on there. So we'll need an off-road vehicle to do that with. Over on the west side, we've got Chevy Bison, and another fuel station on the left, and another watch point unlock on the top. So fuel either side. What's down here? There's a watch point down here, and there's a garage down the bottom there. That's interesting. What's the use of the garage down the bottom? No doubt it will reveal itself, and we don't know what's in here either. So let's try and formulate a plan. So we're in a bit of a scout vehicle at the moment, so what we could do is go to... Actually, are we in an all-terrain? Let me start it up. Ooh, that's a nice sound. Oh, listen to that. Just listen to that. Let's stick it into manual. That sounds great. Okay, so we can actually diff lock and we can lock the wheels. So yeah, we could potentially all terrain with this thing. The tires on it don't look too bad. Looks like it's built for some off-road and I'd like to see more tread on those tires though. Oh, it's so nice to be in a game with like, look at the physics, just look at the physics. All games should be like this. Oh my God, they're so good. Right, so we've got that. And then we've got that beast over there, which I don't know. Let me just turn the engine off. I don't know if that beast is going to actually configure. Actually, let's just start it. And we'll put it into manual. Oh, it has. It is all-terrain, look. This was the, uh, the Western Star. Yeah, this was the three-pointer, wasn't it? So... So this has got diff lock and oil wheel drive as well. Which is really good. Let's turn it back up for a sec. Still got the world's clunkiest interface. Actually, what's the first person view? Oh my god. Have they still not done anything with this? It feels like the frame rates are better. It definitely feels slicker on the frames, but the inside of the cab is just still... An absolute sham. It's still horrible textures and just this nasty slap on dash. And no doubt he crosses his arms like he always did, like this. Oh. Look at <laughs> that. Oh, it burns. Um, yeah, so they've not fixed any of that stuff. That's fine. So we could go all terrain with this one and we can go all terrain with the other one. So let's do some scouting, I think. And then we'll try and figure out a plan. Actually, can we... We can flick to that skidder now. That's not actually locked. Let's go and have a look at the skidder. Oh, yeah. It's got the claw built in. Nice. Do you know what? I wonder if we could use this guy to go and grab that. I wonder how feasible it is. How many fuel have we got? 265 litres. Depends what the terrain's like around here, really, isn't it? So we need to be careful with the uh, the front uh, the front kind of attachment though. We get that wedged in the ground, like going down here. I could easily get myself wedged into the ground, couldn't I? Tell you what, let's try and find a nicer way through. Oh, I do love spin tires. Sorry, mud runner physics. Got the water and the mud. Oh, it's so satisfying. This game needs to get bigger and better. Map DLC is nice, but I really want to see the game progress, you know? I want to see bigger maps, I want to see bigger multiplayer, bigger challenges, just bigger everything. Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. Actually, let's get the um, scavenge point. I need to figure that out anyway, so let's see what this thing can do. It's always got a diff lock on, so I need to be aware of that. But it's not always got the all-wheel drive turned on. Let's put that on now. Okay, let's slow down a bit. We're just tearing up the ground at this point. That's better. Uh, no logs available. Yay! Where's that thingy gone? Okay. 
Maybe if we try and go that way. Can we go that way? What's the ground like over here? Pick this up on the way. We've still got some trees around, so if we do get stuck, potentially we can haul ourselves with the old winch. I'm not seeing any logs either here, to be honest. Oh, two logs mysteriously appeared. Okay, let's go around then. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not trusting that water. I think I'm just going to back off from this. Stick it to reverse. Let's get it into second. We still made this awkward with, with the... If you're using like an Xbox controller or something, you want to put it into gear. The, um... You need to move your, your thumb about two millimetres and it jumps between all three gears. So it makes it a little bit clunky trying to get it into anything other than that gear. You know, looking at the all-wheel drive, it burns an awful lot of fuel. So we need to turn that off whenever we don't need it. Okay, where are we going? Uh, let's go this way. Perhaps now we shouldn't have done it in this vehicle. But it does have huge tyres, so maybe it is the best vehicle. Let's drop it down a gear. Oh, a road! Hang on, this is a... Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I didn't expect that. Ah. Now that's not so good. Turn. <laughs> Come on back. There we go. Yeah, that was unexpected. Uh, wood, dodgy wooden bridge. To be honest with you. All right, that's better. All right, where are we going anyway? It says it's up there somewhere. Hmm. All right, let's push this way. Try not to fall off the bridge. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. Imagine if the bridges had, like, a weight limit as well. As you drove over it, if you were a bit close to the weight limit, you'd hear going... And if you go over there and something too heavy, the whole thing just collapses and you can't use it again. Right. Can we make it up here? That's the question. I don't know, but I'm going to try. Oh, we're skidding. Giddy rocks of doom. Let's hit the parking brake. Let's see if we can get a winch up here. Come on. Up you go. A little bit more. Yes. Let's get rid of that winch. Nice. Okay, let gravity do the work. Let's have a look what we've got now. Okay, so, oh, there's another block post, look. That's interesting. So that means to get lumber from here, all the lumber seems to be located in the centre of the map, but you can't bring it that way. And you can't bring it that way either. Which pretty much means... Well, there's a dodgy crossing there. Which my guess is... You might need another vehicle on the other side, because if you notice, there's not many trees on that side there. So I guess you'll get stuck on that. That looks to be too deep. The other way is to bring it around this way. Um, but we need to unlock that, really, to figure that one out. So we found three medium, three medium. Scavenge empty. Does that mean we've not done it, or...? It's actually empty. Three, two long, three medium, three medium. So that must be the whole lot. All right, tell so what we're going to do. We're just going to leave that here for now. Let's kill the engine. Squeak. Um, let's see. 
Chevy. The Western Star is up there. That says recallable. That's interesting. Why is that recallable? So the other three are locked. So let's jump into this one. So even on hardcore, we appear to have a recallable vehicle. Oh, that's a nice sound that is. Right, let's take a drive. Where do we want to go? We want to go this way. Let's see if we can go and unlock that. And then maybe we'll head to the fuel station and then go south. Let's see how much tarmac we've got. Oh, look at the detail on this town. It's really nice. What is slightly weird about this game, though, is you've got all these, like, the original spin tires was all set in the forest, right? So you didn't see anybody. Which is fine. It was just this forest in the middle of Russia or whatever it was, and you didn't see a soul or other vehicle. The odd log cabin. In this, you've essentially got a town, and yet there's no people and no other vehicles on the road. Which kind of feels odd. Wow, this thing, this thing handles really strangely. Look, it just every now and again it just kicks itself. That first person view. 4K first person view, it's just amazing. Okay, there's actually a muddy route down there, where are we? Yeah, that goes to logs, that might actually be a good way into the logs. Because that road doesn't look too bad. Okay, we'll push on. So far, it's a nice tarmac road. Because a few of the trucks, if you remember, there was a couple of trucks that were um, not rated for off-road. But this appears to be a fairly good road to the north. So hopefully, we can still get good use of... Oh my god! just suddenly veers off this thing. Hopefully we can still get good use out of those vehicles by using the tarmac. What I might do is maybe take some of the, the non-off-road trucks and kit them up for things like fuel and repair and then position them on the map so that we can easily get um, the off-road vehicles back to one of them to get a refuel. Is this the fuel station? Oh, I've missed the watch point. What a spanner. Drove right past it. It's weird, you look at the map and it seems bigger than... Bigger than it really is. Uh, where's the unlock then? I have to drive right past the down thing. I must... Oh, oh boy. Oh boy, that looks like fun. Okay, let's see what you can do then. Let's see what you can do. Let's all wheel it up here. Okay. Disconnect that. Rocks are just the worst thing in this game. Like, trees and stuff, bushes, hills, anything, fine. Rocks? Absolute nightmare. Doesn't make it difficult. Don't know why. Yeah, that's cool. all-wheel drive for the wind, so it's actually quite versatile, this thing. Let's turn that off now. Nice. Oh, the, honestly, the physics are just so satisfying. It's not perfect. It, it does behave in a very strange way, this thing, but... It's so good to just have that feeling of weight. Like, what I like about this game is when you refuel it, when you refuel the vehicle or a trailer or anything like that, you can see the liquid. It shows you the liquid going in, and it shows you it sloshing around. 
And it's same when you've got logs and stuff that you're hauling. You can feel them trying to tip the trailer over. Okay, seven liters refueled. So we've got that little thing in the back of 20 liters, which is nice. If we drive over here, it should unlock that, shouldn't it? That's the Freightliner, isn't it? Yeah, the Freightliner FLD 120 is unlocked. Okay. Let's push on south. Um, we could unlock that, I suppose. Chevy Bison. Let's go that way. That way. Then we'll head back. And go to, like, this thing. So we'll get parts of the map unlocked. And then we can formulate a plan. Look at the vehicles we've... Oh, hello. Water over road. There's a bit more than water, though. Got a landslide. Okay, that should be okay. If we can keep, like, to one side of that thing, even with the non-off-road vehicles, I think we'll be fine. But who knows? Maybe it's going to get worse down here. Points. So I think we're turning left here, aren't we? Let's get the all-wheel drive on. Okay. We need a bit of diff lock action down here. I'm trying to get away with only using... Or we'll want to need to just to save the fuel, but it's pretty slippy this road, aren't they? Okay, so I don't think there's much chance of getting the off-road, the non-off-road vehicles down here. Because it really is getting quite boggy now. It's worth exploring though, isn't it, I think? Because you need to get a, a feel for the map before you try and decide where you're going to put things. Now this vehicle here, Chevy Bison, I thought this was a non-off-road one. In which case, how the heck are we going to get it out of here? I like, I like the, um, like the canopy thing that opens up when you get in there, when you uh, unlock it. Okay, why don't you want to move? You're an automatic. That was weird. It was in auto, but it wasn't actually in auto. Right, parking brake. See, what state are you in? Okay, you've got some fuel. 194 damage on that thing. Okay, we can fix it with that. There's the spare wheel. Right, that's now fully repaired. And we could even use our extra fuel tank. Top it up. Stop the engine. Change truck. Chevy Bison, here we go. Yeah, diff lock always. All wheel drive not available. So, I, I don't know what use this is going to be. The way it's positioned here implies that you're meant to take it that way to get, like, logs and stuff. But... I don't know how successful that's going to be. That looks like it could take... short logs, but given that terrain, I don't see it's going to get very far. Like, for example, let's try and take it down the road here and see how much success we get with that. And this is without logs. This is pretty muddy down here. And of course, it's going night time. Because I think this is going to get stuck in a minute. There you go. Let's put it in gear. Headlights on. 
Yeah, we, if you had logs on this right now, I don't think it'd even get through, though. And there are no options. When you're stuck, you're stuck. So I'm going to take this down to the fuel station, I think. Dump it, though. Jump back in the, uh, the pickup. And carry on down south and get the rest of that map unlocked. Well, I kind of see this thing as something that we can park up at the main road, maybe. Let's try and stay on that ridge, though. Get a bit of traction. Even now, look at it. Just doesn't want to know. Not the most useful thing. Maybe if we get it back to the garage and reconfigure it, we can dump some garage points on it and use it to um, unlock that garage down the bottom, though. Oops. Don't do that. When it's on the road, he's pretty happy. This is where he wants to be. Uh-oh. Forgot about this. Oh, my God. You come barreling down there, that's so going to catch you out. Okay, refueled. And stop engine. And we'll flick back to the... Where's it gone? Chevy Blazer. Cool. So, yeah, we'll just carry on with the... Actually, I quite like the way it remembered the waypoints. Are we going the right way? Yes. It remembered the waypoints that I had already set, but I don't think it remembered them for uh, this particular vehicle. I assume not. Which it would be great if it did. Like, if I jumped into this this vehicle and it remembered the waypoints I had. And if I jumped into the other vehicle, it remembered the waypoints I'd set for that one. That would have been really handy. Let's get, let's get the old wheel going here. That might help. Okay, the one thing the first person view does have over the third, the RPM gauge. You can tell when your engine's like basically spinning, you're spinning the wheels. That is actually handy. Cool, it's quite a healthy on fuel as well, this thing. First unlock. Now then. Oh my god. We'll just keep going. Two damage from what? What the heck, man? Did somebody, somebody throw a stone at the truck? Random road damage. Alright, now this is unknown. We haven't been down here yet. What's this? Nice street lighting. Okay, it's a bridge. Where are we? Okay, now there's a... Hmm. I wonder how you get to that. I assume this is a river. Yep. I don't fancy trying to get that in the dark. Mate of oh, truck entrance. Just over here, wasn't it? Actually, we do that. Actually, it's not so bad. There's a little road that goes to it. Though. Nice. This will be a nice little one not to get. Just be careful we don't drive off the end. Wonder where it goes.
have a quick look. Aha, look. So that this road here goes all the way down there and actually goes to the lumber mill delivery point. It more or less parallels the uh, the river. Definitely worth doing. The lighting on this game is really good as well. I do like the lighting. They got so many things in this game bang on. The stuff like the, the cabin view, which I know was never originally planned for the, the spin tires. It was like an add-on later. The kind of the cab view and the interface. The UI is a little bit. Could do with a bit of work, I think. Blimey. That's worth bearing in mind that if you you can get down this way, but getting out is a real bother. Look at that, even the truck is stuck. Wow. Let's get rid of that. Okay. We've got T-junction and then uh, garage is up here, I assume, which is locked. Let's go and have a look at it. I think there was a vehicle here, wasn't there? Look at the mud getting thrown up. Look at that. It's just great. Love the way it does that. Yeah, here we go. No, there's no vehicle here. Just a garage. Cool. Right. So, if we have a look where we are now. We have got most of the map unlocked. The only thing we don't have is that waypoint down there. But now we can see a good chunk of the map and start to formulate a plan about what we're going to do to attack this thing. Um, but I think we're going to have to leave it there because that's the... We've run out of time in this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Great to get back into some mud runner. Um, please give me a thumb up, thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me some comments. In the next one, we'll formulate a plan and see if we can progress the map. Take it easy, guys. Happy trucking.